Hello everyone, this is V Rising, a game I know very little about, but that I've heard good things about. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, um, private game, of course. PVE, this will be Michael's World. I don't even know what this means. Number of players that can join a single clan. Uh, I'm going to be playing solo, so it's just me. Only solo play. There, that's what I'm looking for. Advanced game settings. This is so complicated. Okay, um... I think I'll just leave it all alone for now. Okay. I mean, I just want to play the game. Sure. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Customize your vampire. So my choices are to be a triangle or some sort of oblique shape. I think we'll go for a female vampire. What's this lock in? Oh no. Ooh, I don't want that. No, 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 no. Nothing too too freaky. Why would I want to be a ugly looking vampire? I think we'll go with that. And blue eyes. Is there a ponytail? I always like the ponytails. Hair physics. Some of these are really messed up. Mm, that's not bad. Wow, I like that. Look at the physics. I think... I think I'm going to go with this one. It looks elegant. Perfect. Features. Do I want to have facial hair? No. Or earrings? Not particularly. Character name. Yay. WASD to move. One of these all abilities. Primary attack. Press and hold near the cliff edge to jump. Can I look at other stuff then? So, a veil of blood. Dash toward the input direction and elude nearby enemies for two seconds. My primary attack deals bonus damage and heals me. That's space. Okay. Shadow Bolt is R. The Shadow Bolt that deals 200% damage and inflicts a snare. Okay. Block melee and projectile attacks for 1.5 seconds. Blocking the attack heals you and triggers a wave of energy that pushes enemies away. And what's this? Expose vein and blood mend. Well, I don't know what that means.
some sort of healing thing. Okay. Build. Equipment crafting. They'll probably uh, explain all this in the future. I'm just, you know, quick to jump in and try to figure it out at a time. I. Hunt powerful V blood carriers. That's not what I want to do. That's O. Oh, that's not an I, that's J. Ability selection. Okay. So that's what I've got. It's all blood abilities. Vampire powers. So consume 0.2 liters of blood per second to recover your max health. And this is my blood pool. Got it. And the blood type is frailed. You'll slowly lose health and ultimately perish if you run out of blood. Feed. Feed on a hostile living humanoid with low health. Okay. While feeding on an enemy, you're vulnerable to attacks. But you can instantly kill the target by pressing left mouse. It will not grant any blood, though. What about exposed vein? Lower your guard and allow other vampires to drink your blood. Okay. And that's push to talk. Social. Collecting the remains. Their bones of the devil come to serve a new purpose. Does this consume blood doing that? It doesn't say. There's some more bones. I am slowly consuming my blood just over time so I better I better move lumber Ooh. I haven't even tried messing with the camera. I can just fully rotate it. It feels weird. It feels like um, like I'm thinking more like a Diablo style, where you can't really mess with the camera. But no, it just lets you rotate all around. Sorry, I'm going pretty slow. I should just get get moving. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, no. don't suppose you have any blood. Bones. Oh, okay. Stone, lumber, bone. Take all. More bone. Is this? Yeah. I wonder how many I just walked right past. So, claim this. I'm not sure where I even got it. It seemed like it just popped up randomly. Wielding the sword. Craft a sword, slay enemies using a bone sword. And 
how do I... Do I just press one? Okay, now I replace that with a primary attack. Okay. I'm getting plant fiber by my wrecking plants. Cool. Does my sword have durability? Doesn't seem. Yeah, it does. Eight fifteen. It's high though. Can I actually cut down this tree? I can! Nice. Now I can craft a bone ring. Craft a ring, hit enemies using Shadow Bolt. Can I eat the rat? Yeah, I can, to get some blood. Our blood supply is getting a little bit low. It doesn't seem to be going up, though. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Crude amethyst. Bone. Oh, I pick up pick it up, and now it's a consumable. So I can like just press two and eat a rat for a bit of blood. Oh, lovely! <coughs> Looks like I can destroy pretty much like anything. Bone guard, vestment, and vermin salve. Did this person just spawn right in next to me? It did. So combines rats to give me a healing effect. Take my bones. Interesting. Not what I expected. Not bad though. Just uh, different. So we need clubs. These need animal hide, which I don't have yet.
Okay. Uh, start in the west. I haven't been paying attention to our layout at all, really. Hello. I suppose I shouldn't need to bother getting a lot of plant fiber and lumber and stuff until I like, have a reason to, until I know the purpose of it. Area discovered farming woods Waygate. You cannot teleport while carrying resources. Interesting. So I've improved my blood type to creature type. And that's giving me uh, that's giving me movement speed. Cool. Health and recovery. You're going to heal up to 25 of your health while in combat. Use consumables or blood men outside to fully recover. How do I do that? Alright, and we got some hide. Can we craft stuff? Yeah. Gloves. Boots. The sun is rising. Do I need to worry about that? Craft bone axes and cut down trees. And it already counted the one tree I already had. Nice. And I also picked up a tainted heart. Alters your blood type to frailed. Yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna stick those off the bar. We have this blood essence. Vampires use it to control material. Crude amethyst, which can be salvaged for gem dust. Can be refined at a loom, at a sawmill. Okay. Bone axe. Dual wield axes. Do I need to worry about this, like, sun killing me? Like, that'd be bad. Um, so that replaced my 4% with a 1%. So really, I sh probably shouldn't do that unless I... Unless, like, it's a higher percent or if I need blood. I guess. Let's go down the street. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I guess because I was in this, I was in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. 
So we're so it is bad, but you can evade it pretty easily just by hiding in the shadows. Craft a mace and smash rocks to pieces. What counts as a rock that I can smash? Like this, maybe. Yeah. Construct and interact with a castle heart. Like, do I want to build a... I don't know, like here? Can I build it anywhere? Let's move a bit. I don't want to be right next to that thing. Maybe we can get up here a little bit. Look at this. It's a little hollowed out tree. Is this attack level too low? Fire blossom. Ah. Okay, that's gonna kill me. Um, this isn't good. You guys still following me? The moon is rising. I mean, I guess we could just build it right here. I, I'm, I'm a little reluctant to build it like right on the street. It feels like the kind of thing where you want to, you know, have a little area around it that's safe. Attack level two, though. And I'm, I guess this is an elevation. I can't even get up there. Maybe I'm being too wishy washy, and I just should just, you know, make it happen. Hello.
I mean, sh okay, I'm just gonna make it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be stuck on this objective forever. So build, build a castle heart. Ah, okay, so there's areas where we can't build it. Gotcha. We do need to find a clear area, then. Like one of these. Maybe we can go along the road out to here? It looks kind of clear over there. <clears throat> and now that's night, we won't take all that damage. But there was, there was that plant monster. Let's check this area out. It looks like it has some elevation to it. Hello. Warrior blood. Increased physical attack power. So this looks like much more of an appropriate place, if it's not taken by someone. Blood Rose. Okay, there's a monster at the top, a big stone golem. But maybe down here we can be fine. <laughs> Blocked by unit. Blocked by me. 60% building area. You know what? I'm just going to take this. And I guess you can move it later. Feed the heart. Castle is decaying. Here, have blood essence. For four hours, it'll maintain itself then. Compulsively count. Transfer items from your inventory if the center of item exists in the container. <laughs> I like the idea of it. Expand your... Oh, okay. We got a moose. Moose are terrifying. Like, you can go away, please. Oh dear. I don't know why it's running. <laughs> Oh, it healed up. Mm. 
No, I'll just let it go. All right, uh, place border, place borders. Which needs more blood essence, so we need to go. Eat. We need to go eat something. Maybe a moose. Twenty seven percent. I'll just take that. Just below the marker for level two. Protect your territory by placing palisades. Place a wooden coffin, place a wooden stash. Palisade entrance. And then a door. And now I need more lumber. Some people down there. Poachers. Build a wooden coffin. I just need more lumber. And I'm assuming that this is going to be moved around so we're not like limited to this small little area. Here you guys. Well, that makes me worried. Are we still in shadow? Oh, let's creep it over.
Like, I don't have a roof, do I? It's just a wall. Ah, it consumes bones to generate a dense mist. And I have to give it some bones. Ah! And they wanted me to make a stash, which needs more lumber. Why am I level going on the seven? Did I lose something? I don't know. Oh, because I wasn't equipping a weapon. Put a stash right there. Technology unlock basic crafting and refinement. Construct and interact with a sawmill. Construct and interact with a simple workbench and increase my gear level. Needs a lot of lumber. 400 lumber. Okay. This is very different than I expected. I thought that this is going to be much more of a hacky, slashy Diablo type. Instead, it's much more of a, you know, build your own little house. Sort of thing. I do like how when we cut down the trees, we're expanding the area that's light. So we have to worry about... About catching on fire. Or whatever. Not quite ready. It doesn't seem to be weight that I can tell. Like we're never, um, whenever there's there's slots, but there isn't like you can't move because you you um you have too much stuff on you. Whoa! Uh, 
Uh, this is actually pretty large, so I probably should not. It requires. It has to be on my on my border though. Okay. I just take these and move them back. Now I have to dismantle them. I don't really need much walls right now. I mean, I'm not sure what it actually is doing for me. So let's just go ahead and start getting this production facility up. Now I need more stone, apparently, because I placed all that border. So, build a sawmill here, and now use the sawmill to convert 20 lumber into one plank in sawdust. In a confined castle room, when placed in an enclosed room. When all the material, when all the floors in this room are workshop floor, eh, uh, I think it's you know a bit beyond us at the moment. Yeah, just go ahead and and take some wood. And this happens over time. I don't need to sit next to it. Awesome. Whoa, we got a moose. Okay. So, okay, what do I need for my next thing? I need this, which needs only eight planks, which is fine. We'll just wait a little bit for that to happen. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get some more creatures while we're waiting. Yeah, this, would have been a, this would have been a fine place to build a little place also, I guess. Can I feed on you? There. Just gotta get close enough to it. Mm. 
No, we got some people fighting. You, sir. I didn't get a chance to feed on you, but I did get essence. There was a green item. In a second, let me go back up to our relative safety. A better bone axe. How's this going? Oh, oh, we got a, a wolf or something nearby. Eleven. That should be enough. We also picked up some coarse thread and some leather. We have a whole bunch of animal hide. Oh, there's so much stuff we can do here. So we can improve our ring, first of all. That seems the obvious thing to do. And these are always improvements. You take something and you you make it better. Rather than... Well, no, these are crafting from, from scratch. But these are, you know, taking what we have and making it better. Copper Castle Key. Is this a PvP thing? Yeah, this is about seizing enemy castles. Okay. And then I can just grab all this stuff. And now we're level 20. Technology Blood Altar. Hunt powerful V blood carriers and drink their blood to claim their power. So, an alpha wolf. Would give me a wolf form. <clears throat> and then we can track it. Okay. So this is basically dynamic bosses. And we give oh that's that's nifty. This is how you learn new new recipes also. Oh I like it. Ooh, fishing. So 
So if I track that, you can sense your prey in the distance way over that way. Can I get a better sword? Like, I, I'm using my axe at the moment. Yeah, reinforced bone sword. Needs more planks and stone. Excuse me, sir. So I still can't get these. I can with it with this though, with the reinforced bone axes. Probably I should get the um, the better bone mace. Okay, we're losing night. Ooh, we found something. Take a look at that. Reinforced bones. That's what we already have. Yeah, sun's about to rise. I don't know why I wasn't letting me feed on you. Maybe you were too strong? Maybe we should go out in the middle of the day. It seems like a bad idea. Mouse! Oh, hello! Treant. What are you do what, what what's going on? Oh god. Just run away. Run away. I am downed. Yeah. Am I wooden coffin, please? Do I need to get my stuff back? Is that like a mechanic? Yeah, it looks like it is. We got blatantly killed by the sun there. I didn't even notice that we were walking into it. 
Well, I think I'm going to stop here. This is We've played about an hour, and I'm enjoying it. It's a nifty game. It seems it's a lot more like a game like um, like Ark or Conan rather than what I was expecting, like a Diablo-like. Although the combat system is more Diablo-like. But, um, yeah, interesting. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time.